if you want to be noticed, sure enough, you have to do some uh, mirror work. You have to look the man in the mirror. You have to look the woman in the mirror and try to figure out exactly what you want and how you're going to now reverse engineer where you are now to where you need to go. That's what you have to do on your own. But not to make greater things happen. You also need to have someone on the outside to give you feedback on, when, on the execution you have to take when it comes to that particular vision. Because without an external feedback as to how you are doing, how well you are doing, or not so well you are doing, my friend, there will be no momentum as far as your work is concerned. This is how it works. Why? Because it's something called in our brain mirror neurons. We simply replicate what we see others doing. And we only do things based on the feedback we get from others. So if what you're doing doesn't seem to align with what other others are expecting in your particular field, it's not going to give you the momentum you're looking for in order to get the visibility and the promotion that you're looking for. In plain English, it's simply called an accountability partner or an accountability system that you need to establish in your own life in order for you to execute the thing you are called to execute. Without that, my friend, you're simply going to be spinning your, your wheels in one place and not going anywhere. Let me just give you a perfect example when it comes to accountability system. And I will have one particular gentleman just propel himself all the way to the top. In 1981, the young prince was invited to do the opening gig for Mick Jagger and his group in the LA Coliseum. When he showed up for the Rolling Stones and he started performing, on the very first day, people rejected his performance and they started booing him. He was booed off stage. He was so devastated that after the performance, he ran to the airport and took the first plane back to Minneapolis and he simply decided that was the end of it as far as this thing is concerned. As soon as Mick Jagger heard what happened, he picked up the phone and simply told, told Prince, my goodness, this is the business that we're in. You have to get used to tough feedback, but you have, you have to simply go to a place where you master your craft and you never let the feedback get you off stage. So in other words, you have to come back and perform uh, for the same audience and see how it's going to go and we'll take it from there. He came back, he performed again, but it was still a very mild uh, review as far as the audience is concerned. But you know what? Through that particular experience, he found an accountability partner or someone was going to be there as a coach, as, as a mentor to tell him exactly what he was here to do next. And guess what? Because he was listening to Mick Jagger, from the Rolling Stone, guess what? The young man went back to the studio and in 1984, he put together an album called Purple Rain. And by the time it was released in August 1984, it stayed at number one on the Billboard as the best album for the next few weeks until January 1985. Why? Because simply someone had discovered the power of accountability, the power of having the right method, the right voices in your life to help you simply recognize that what I'm doing now is something based on the old self. I need to unbear what was actually paired in my brain and simply discover uh, or embrace the new way of doing things. And as you do that, my friend, sky is going to become the limit. All right, again, you are summer for today. Go find your accountability partner. Go find your mentor. Go find your coach. Go find someone who's going to be there as an external voice to simply hold you accountable. All right, I'm out right now. Much love, everyone. Take good care.